Good morning. So this is now day three of my cycling journey across uh, Germany from the Danube to Lake Constance. And today I am leaving a town called Bad Waldsee, which I've not seen a lot of uh, because I got here late and I need to leave early. And I'm going to head to two main destinations today. The first one is a place called Wolfegg, which is an amazing name. And there apparently I'm going to a homestead uh, museum and also I'm going to learn to drive a tractor. So that'll be nice. And then from there, I'm going to see a castle in another place whose name I forget now. And then I end the day in a place called Wangen. That's a, that's a lovely name, isn't it? The actual cycling for the day is about 35 or 40 kilometers. So there's not that much, but it's the stops on the way which are, are making the day. Uh, that's it for now. I'll give you some shots from the road. Cheers. So of all the things on my four or five day cycling itinerary in Germany, this was the one thing I was really looking forward to. A tractor driving course just seemed kind of random but really interesting as well. And in my head I'd worked out how we were going to film it and then how I was going to show you guys with some music, probably it's going to have like the Benny Hill theme tune playing or something. And we filmed it perfectly and Petra and Andrea were great and they ran alongside the tractor filming me. And for some reason the film's not on the GoPro. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if I accidentally deleted it. I don't know if the card was corrupted, but all I can do is show you these still photos. And hopefully you're gonna get a good impression of the uh, Farmstead Museum and you should visit it. And I'm gonna leave a link in the comment section below so that you can check the website out and find out more about it. And I'll also write a blog post in the future. So unfortunately, I haven't got the footage of the, me driving a tractor, which I'm sure you were really looking forward to, but we have these stills instead. Anyway, thank you very much Petra and Andrea for showing me around there. So once I left the farmstead, it was time to hit the road again, and this time I was heading towards Kisleg. Towards Kisleg. The road to Kisleg was an easy one to follow, and you can see that on the screen. Instead of talking about the road, I think I'll just uh, talk quickly about making a video on a bicycle tour. If you've seen my other cycling videos, from cycling from Greece to England for example, you'll know that I made a vlog a day. And that was actually quite hard work. So what I would do is I would take video throughout the day, would make some commentary, and then when I was either in my tent or in a hotel room at night, I would mix everything together and then upload it to YouTube. And sometimes that could take four or five hours. In fact, there was a couple of days when I spent longer making the video than I did actually on the bike. On this trip, I decided to do things slightly differently. I wanted to take a bunch of clips and then I was gonna mix it two or three weeks later, which is what I'm doing now. But it's only now that I'm discovering that maybe there are clips missing, maybe I've accidentally deleted something, and I'm also trying to, rem to remember where I was. Um, I guess there's no perfect way of making film. I'm not a, a professional by any means. I'm an enthusiastic amateur at best. Um, still, there we go. I thought I'd share my experiences. I think if I was going to do all this again, I think I prefer the vlog approach. Um, as, as few clips as possible uh, because then it's easier to mix everything together um, and that, I think that's the way I'll go forward. I'm also going to experiment with YouTube Live more I think, uh, especially if I've got a decent connection. Anyway, we're now approaching Kisleg Castle and Kisleg Castle is a Baroque building. It was built sometime between 1721 and 1727 and during that time it's gone through several different uses. Um, it's been a stately home, I guess you could call it a stately home, a palace or a castle. It's also been a hospital. Um, there you can see Hildegard, and Hildegard was in period costume as she showed me around the castle. And many of the original fixtures are still there. It's also doubles now as a civil building, so you can be married there and have civil ceremonies. I think they even hold um, town hall events there. So this was an interesting place to, to spend some time. If you're going to cycle the Donau Bodden Sea Radway, I suggest you drop by, you know, spend an hour or two there, and I'll put some details in the section below. Hello there. So I'm coming up to the end of day three of the cycling tour from the Danube to Lake Constance, from the city of Orm to Lake Constance. And on today's leg, I started in a place called Bad Waldsee, and I'm due to finish in a place called Wangen, which is an awesome name. And so what have I been up to today already then? So uh, when I left Bad Walsy, hold on, there's a car coming. Let me pull just slightly over. There we go. So when I left Bad Walsy, I cycled to a place called Wolfegg, which is a great name. And there I visited what they call is a farmhouse museum, I guess. And what it is, is the community has, um, has bought what must have been an old farm at one point. And now they're transporting old buildings there, which date from kind of, I think it like the 1800s, 1700s, 1800s. And they're, they're putting them in place. So what it's becoming is kind of like a period museum almost, I guess. And inside you can see how the houses were. Uh, they tell you how life was. 
the balance of the farms and all that sort of thing. I think it's a good way of, of keeping the heritage alive. Um, I can't really think of anything on that sort of scale that we've got in the UK. And obviously this is a place that most people in the UK have never going to have heard of unless you're watching this video of course, which is why I'm making the, these videos. Anyway, I met two lovely guides there and they showed me around the place and we had a chat and we had a nice meal there and then I moved on to the next place. And the next place uh, was a castle or kind of an old castle I think. And that was in a place called, God I should really get these names right, uh, Kislig, I think it's Kislig. And that was really nice and uh, the guide there was a, gu a guide called Hildegard and she was dressed up in period costume and she took me around the place and described how it had been a palace and then it had been a hospital and then it was used as a school and what happened in the end was the community bought it um, and it's a huge place by the way the community bought it and they've, they've kind of uh, restored parts and it's used as a community building so they have weddings there and functions it's also a museum, they do tours. So again, it's another example of how the community has recognised that they've got some, uh, some cultural history that they want to save in the form of this building and the architecture. And they've kind of banded together to, to make it happen. And it's part funded by the state, of course. But it's all very good. I, I like it. Uh, and as you can see around me now, I'm now cycling through the, the countryside on my way to Wang, and I'm only cycling very, very slowly. And it's on one of the cycle paths, so there's almost no traffic. There's a couple of tractors in a field over here. As I go around the corner, you may see them. It's the weather's been perfect. Cycling in Germany is a real, it's a real eye-opener as to the way that things should be when you do a cycle tour in Europe. When people are on about developing cycling infrastructure, they often go on about things in uh, like the inner cities and things like that. But it's actually in the countryside you should have some dedicated paths to explore parts of the countryside and enjoy the great outdoors and I think almost every country has got a lot to learn from Germany I think it's uh, it's definitely uh, in the top five uh, cycling countries in terms of infrastructure probably number one to be fair but uh, I don't I don't want to annoy other countries which think they've got great cycling infrastructure as well uh, so yeah so I've got about uh, probably about an hour to go as I cycle towards a Wangen and I'm going to stay in another hotel there. When I arrive, uh, I've got loads of work that I need to catch up with, so I'm going to do that. And I've got loads of notes from this trip I should make. See the cyclist just come up behind me there. Cheeky. And that's all I've got to say for this video. So, uh, I don't know if that will be the end of the day's vlog, because I'm never too sure. I do lots of different filming as I'm cycling along. I'm never too sure how it's going to turn out in the end. Anyway, I'll stop talking for now and show you some more shots from the road. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.